Stop! You ain't got nothing with you. I'm here, sucker. He is. You ain't nobody. Sue like what? Butterfly. Butterfly. Sting like what? Be like sucker. Be. That's that title back, huh? You. Give Ali credit for fighting his way back by beating Norton and Frazier. But these two fighters together do not equal one George Foreman. Give me a one man, Oh, he got me, Drew! They got me, Drew! I got him! Get off me! Get off me! Let me through here! Give me one! Oh! Drew! I'm in Zaire! Oh, they got a seat for me, Drew! I'm gonna knock him out! Knock him out! Oh! Oh, massage! 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 I said massage me! Don't whoop me! Get off me! Stop it! I'm gonna bring back the title! I'm gonna bring the championship back home. The title should go to somebody pretty, pretty like me. Here in Zaire, where President Mobutu has paid the incredible sum of $10 million to back Don King's rumble in the jungle, I predict we will witness the end of a legend named Muhammad Ali. Look what we got here, Rockman. We done stumbled on the ugly camp. George Foreman, George Foreman. That's right, it's me, ugly. You run around here in Africa telling everybody you gonna annihilate me. I'm gonna hit you so hard and from so many different angles, you gonna think you was around it. I'm gonna knock you out, Foreman. I want some of now. I want you right now. Are well, you gonna find him or what? No perfect drink? Company, company. Throw some leather, champ, let's go. Come on. Dig it, dig it. Why is he looking so half-assed? Practicing the art of taking a punch. Looks like he practiced in the art of getting his jaw broken. Okay, again. okay. Oh, 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 It's good, it's good. Larry, Larry. It's good. Take a shower. That's all. Come on, champ. Here you go. You're looking a little stale today. You okay? All right? All right, we'll talk later. All right? Bun ding. Let's go. Sate. What's wrong, bro? Look like you sleep walking out here. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Just tired. Yeah, well, they tell me that's what happens to old men. When they start getting tired real quick, wearing diapers, eating baby food. <laughs> I ain't too tired to whip your ass now. I remember I can run through a hurricane and not get wet. I remember Prime, boy. Remember that. You remember that. Sidekick. Hey man, that's my butt! Get back here! Stop! Get back here! Where'd he go? You just gave your bike to someone else. Oh, that's all right. I'm a police officer's son. We'll see what we can do. That's all right. I'm going to find a guy myself, and when I do, I'm going to beat his butt up and down the street. Yeah? Well, you must be one hell of a fighter. You're going to do all that. He can fight. My brother's a great fighter. Yeah, so hit my hand. Come on, pretend it's the guy that took your bike. No, no, no. You leave yourself all open. Watch. You lean into it, and you snap it like that. Snap it. Let me see. Good. Worst thing you can do is to fight when you're all excited. Fighting is a thinking game. Come on, hit. 
Look at me, look at me, look at me. Here, there you go. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Good. What's your name, son? Cassius. Cassius what? Cassius Clay. Good, good, good. Lean, lean into it. Lean. Left, right, left, right, right. Good, good. First you beat the mind, and then you beat the behind. You got it? Come on, sir. There you go. Sir. Oh, come on. I got mosquitoes in my heart. You're going to have to move a little quicker. Sir. Sir. Ah, sir. sir. What is that, your sissy sir. shot? Jam. Sissy shot? Yeah. yeah. Sir. 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 Oh. Oh. Ah. oh. I think I got him, Rudy. <laughs> Bob, you all right? Come on, now. Stand up. Stand up. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on now, I thought you were hurt. What kind of boxing is that? First you beat the mind, and then you beat the behind. Uh -huh. God, let me hear you say it. Uh-huh. First you beat the mind. Yeah. Then you beat the behind. Come on, drill it. Bring it down. Bring it. Bring it down. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Whoa. Let those boys come on in now. Then it's getting cold. A few more minutes. Come on, get something. Eat. All right, Pop. All right, Rudy. Woo! Woo! First you beat behind, then you beat behind. He takes him out with a flurry. Here we go, the bell pound, round number two. Winner by a knockout and the new Louisville Golden Gloves champion, Cassius Clay. Gorilla for breakfast. Had a line for a snack. I knew I'd win the title with no slack. <laughs> Come on now, that left hook didn't hurt just a little bit. Oh, I well, I faked him out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you, son. But boy, you scared me to death today. Don't you be scared me like that, mama. You know I can't be beat. I'm too good. <laughs> yeah, but the Bible said pride comes before fall. You make sure you don't fake yourself out. Joe, don't worry about it. I'll be okay when we get to Rome. You'll see. Once you get to Rome, you're gonna be on your own. I'm not gonna be around to play nursemaid. <laughs> Joe, you're my coach, right? Right? Don't worry about it. I'm just a little slow today, that's all. I'm a policeman from Louisville. Where you're going, you need the real thing. Joe, I don't know what you're talking about, but... I taught you everything I know, kid. And that's just a fraction of what you're gonna need to learn. Just... Just take something away from every fight, all right? You get us that gold medal. Finish up on the bag. Don't hit the bag. Go on, hit the bag. Cassius took Rome. To make America great is my goal, so I beat the Russian and I beat the Pole. And for the USA, I fought for the gold. Now the Italians said, you're greater than the Cassius of old. We like your name, we like your game. So come make Rome your home, if you will. I said, I appreciate your hospitality, but the USA is my country still, cause they're waiting for me in Louisville. America loves Cassius Clay. Now the Louisville sponsoring group is made up of 11 successful men. 
We all believe that Cassius Clay has a bright future worth investing in. Is it true you were swamped with management offers? Well, everybody was talking big, but nobody was putting the correct cash on the table, except this group right here. All I know is, is that I'm Olympic champion and I'm flat broke. Now, I'm going to make more money than any colored man you've ever seen, even the ones that work at Fort Knox. <laughs> I will be heavyweight champion of the world, I can tell you that. You seem like a tenacious young man. What's that word? Tenacious? Tenacious. <laughs> he said I'm tenacious. <laughs> well, sir, let me tell you, if that's something bad, then no, I ain't. But let's stop all the fussing. I got to prove I'm great. <laughs> Really, I'm stalled. I think I'm gonna take myself a double of everything. <laughs> What's the matter? There ain't no color folks in here, man. Well, I ain't colored no more, fool. I'm the Olympic champion. <laughs> and Louisville done laid out the red carpet. Look at this place. Ain't it nice? Yeah, it's nice, all right. Well, you boys can order from the window outside if you like. Well, no, ma'am. I think we'll be fine right here. This looks pretty good. Are you? Pretty nice, huh? Oh, we don't serve colored in the dining room. Hold on, Secretary Bay. Don't you know who this is? No. Cassius Clay. Woo-hoo. <laughs> uh, saw you in the papers and on TV, son. Oh. I want to shake your hand. <laughs> Wait, I tell my boys I met you in person. We're real proud of you, son, beating that Russian like that. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Cassius Clay, everybody. I'm mighty proud of you. Thank you. Hi, y'all. <laughs> tell you what, y'all order anything on the menu you want, huh? On the house? <laughs> I told you. Mm -hmm. They'll wrap it up here real nice for you to take home. I sure will. Be my pleasure. Well, sir, I thought we'll just sit here tonight. I'm sorry, boys. It's the rules. Hell, it's the law. Ain't nothing I can do about that. What are you doing? Cash. Come on now, you don't want to do that. You ain't throwing away your medal. Don't mean nothing, really. About as much as that bag of food. Well, it might not mean nothing to you, but it means everything to us. All of us. Don't let them take it from you. You won't let some ignorant people beat you. You might as well just curl up and die. in Washington, we don't train fighters here. We train winners. Winners? Must be in the right place. It's good to see you again, Cassius. Thank you, Mr. Dundee. Thank you. Angelo. Angelo. Bill Fabishan called me. You said you won your first money fight. Oh, yeah. Six round decision. Should have put him on his back. So you're the best trainer out there, so I figure the best needs to be with the best, huh? <laughs> What'd you think? Well, I can see right away that we're going to have to start working on your confidence. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Good, 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 good. There it is. There it is. Oh! His head goes down. It's right there. It's wide open for you. Wide open. Slide right over him. Got you. A moment. Dr. Ferdy Pacheco just walked out on a lot of sick patients. See if you were real. Listen here, Doc. Me and you, we need to be partners because I'm going to be sending a whole lot of patients your way. And we're going to the top, right, Angelo? 
This for you, Doc, your first patient. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got the height, I got the speed, I got the natural ability, and I got the courage to make me great. I'm so pretty, I should be chiseled in gold. It's the best of my business stand a chance, eh? Oh, that chump don't stand a chance. I ain't training too hard for him, he's nobody. He's gonna join the Bum of the Month Club, he's nothing. I'm gonna take him out in seven rounds. You're calling the rounds? I'm calling the rounds. I'm calling the rounds, I'm gonna take him in seven, and I'm gonna send him to heaven. See that price fighter? Yeah. See, I told you. Um, can we have your autograph? Well, yeah. Here you go. Well, excuse me, ladies, but I gotta meet with some people. Okay. This is the corner man that Angela wanted you to meet. Cassius Clay, Drew Bundini Brown. Also known as Fast Black from across the track. Miami, Miami. Why you let them foxes get away? Look like you could tap both of them. Hey, Rudy, where you find this turkey? Like I said, Angelo recommended him. Is that right? That's right. He's the real deal, though, Cassius. This man works Sugar Ray's corner. Sugar Ray, huh? I ain't no turkey, though, bro. Mm -mm. I'm a, I'm a hawk. I'm a witch doctor. Yeah, I always tell you the truth, and I know how to spook your ass. Give you the mojo you need. You know something, Black? I got Angelo, and I got half this city on my payroll. So what the hell I need you for? Angelo's great, but he don't do what I do. See, Sonny Liston is a crazy-ass gangster. And you want to take his title? You got to have me. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, huh? Guaranteed. I tell you what. We gonna see how fast your ass really is, Black. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you all right. Breaking train. I only had two bites. You had three bites. It's because you were aggravating me, Rudy. What you always do. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Sorry, man, I don't speak no Spanish. No, it's Arabic. It means peace be unto you. <laughs> Check it out, brother. Mohammed speaks. It's like orange juice. It's good for you. Now, there are a lot of things that are good to you, but not everything is good for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, you know I heard of this. Well, then take it, black man. This one is for free. It's a guide to those who are lost. <laughs> I followed you since the Olympics. You are beautiful in the ring. Thanks a lot. Man. But without knowledge of self, you are nothing but a puppet on a white man's strength. Hold on, hold on. My brother ain't nobody's puppet. No, here. no, no, it's cool, Rudy. My man's just talk. That's absolutely right. Just talk. The mosque is Northwest 36th and 17th. Come on, check it out. Allah, U Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Yeah, yeah, well, y'all got any names? This is Minister Shabazz. And I'm Malcolm X. We're lost. We don't even know our names. Smith, Brown, <laughs> McGillicuddy. <laughs> Those aren't African names. They are slave names, 
given to you by a white devil who kidnapped you from your homes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I would rather be an ex than a McGillicuddy. Anybody who would enslave you, beat you, and make you drink, disrespect your women, and kill each other is a white-skinned, blue-eyed devil. <laughs> Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, teaches us that the first man on this planet, the original man, was black. So why are we running around this hell on earth, bowing and shuffling and loving a white Christian, wait till you die for pie in the sky, God? I guess all my life, you know, I've been trying to see God, you know? There was always a hole where he was supposed to be. That's because when the slave worships the slave master's God, the only message that the slave gets is that he should be the slave. Right. What do I do, minister? I mean, the fight game. I mean, all of it. You know, all the boxing, it's, it's run by white people. Huh. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass didn't stop reading books because white men wrote them. Frederick Douglass mastered the language so he could write his own. The heavyweight champion of the world can influence millions of people outside the ring. You can turn things around, change the hearts of black people. Ha! You changed the world, brother. Yeah, you know, if I could. No. Don't say anything. Just think about it. Sit here and think about it for a while. Sonny Liston is one of the most feared oh. heavyweights of all time. And when you finally meet him, I want you to be damn good and ready. I'm ready. I've been ready. Liston doesn't want to fight you. He just calls you a loudmouth nobody. I see. So Liston talks and we all just sit back and wait. That's the way we're doing this now, Angela, right? As long as he is the champ, he calls the shots, yes. What do you want us to do, Cassius? Put a gun to his head? You print the tickets, Bill. Now I'll put a gun to his head. Go oh, knock on the door, Rudy. Me? What about you? I'll be right behind you. Do this quick. Oh, do this quick. man. Yeah, do it quick now. Knock real hard. Ring the doorbell. Oh, he's coming. Right now, boys. Sonny Liston! Sonny Liston, why you keep on ducking me? Clay! It's me, sucker! I wanna take you right now! You fool! Oh, Sonny Liston, Cassius. why you keep ducking me? What the hell you, you ain't over there, boy? You, you ain't nobody! I'll knock you out right now, you big ugly bear! I want some of you now, Chuck! I'm gonna prove to the world! I am great! I'm gonna prove to the world! I'm great! Sonny Liston! I just talked to Liston's people, and they said to drink your juice and take your vitamins, you just talked your way into a title fight. Assalamu alaikum. 
Oh, the Apostle. This is Rudolph and his brother Cassius Clay. The young lion with the big roar. Are you ever afraid of these men you fight? No, sir. <laughs> he has no fear in his heart, except for Allah. As he should. Malcolm says you've been studying the teachings and that you want to join the nation of Islam. All a man need to do is declare his faith before Almighty God, Allah. There is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his messenger. So now, you are a Muslim. And I give you the name, Muhammad Ali. One worthy of high praise. Thank you, messenger. Thank you. <laughs> you still got the message. Yeah. Got People come up to me now that they know you're fighting for the title. They want me to make up signs. They want to buy my paintings. Heck, a woman came up to me and asked me for my autograph. Oh, your <laughs> autograph. <laughs> yeah, you know she wanted more than that. Oh, Ooh. now, come on, Odessa. Hey, I want to show you something. Tommy, you look good. Thank you, sir. Now, this Earring is on. not for sale. Now, what do you think? Ooh. Hey, look at the belt. See the championship belt? <laughs> hey, that's nice, Bob. Nice. Uh, that's real nice. Now that's a masterpiece. <laughs> that's my son, the champ. <laughs> Give me a plate, son. No, no, no you, you know, Mom, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. What do you mean you fine? Boy, you better stop playing with me. Oh, I know no. you are one of them special diets. No, so. no, you no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm really not. It's, well, it's all right. sick? I mean, these your mother smothered pork chops. These your favorite. I, I, no, I, Pop, we're not eating pork anymore, Daddy. It's unclean. What are you talking about? I'm clean. It was clean enough for you to suck it off the bone when you was growing up. Pops, we were brainwashed then. But we're Muslim now. You say what? You, boy, we're Muslim. You, Muslim? What? We are followers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, he teaches us that, that Allah is God and that the so-called Negro is God's chosen people. And that means you can't eat smothered pork chops? But, but what about Jesus? You, you boys still believe in Jesus, Mama, don't we, you? We believe that Jesus was a prophet of Allah, a black man whose, whose proper name was, was Esau. You don't win Jack Rabbit crazy. Papa, it ain't crazy. No, wait a minute. Do you think they're going to let a crazy man fight for the title oh, catches? Pa, pa, my, my name is Muhammad Ali. Pa. Say what? Muhammad Ali. That's the name the messenger gave to me. Uh, and, and what is your name? Alibaba? Oh, Pop, come on. My name is Rahman Ali now, Daddy. Pop, come on. Now, I, I thought about this, and I made a decision. It's my decision. Now, I'm 22 years old, okay? I'm grown. No, no, you big. You ain't grown. Now you do what I tell you to do. I paid for the gloves. I paid for the trips. I put you with Fabersham and those other businessmen. Pop, and I'm the one that's out here fighting. Every day, Pop. Every day fighting to take care of all of us. Take I'm us? the one. Yeah, Pop. Us. Take care of me? What the hell are you talking about? Well, he didn't mean it like that, Pop. No, I take care of my family, and I will not be disrespected Pop, in my home. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just trying to tell you how it's going to be. That's all I'm trying to do. Just the way it is, Pop. I don't need nothing from you. I don't need nothing from you. We don't need nothing from you. Oh, you Shut up! We don't need nothing from you all. I used to take care of you and you. And I'll always take care of us.
Down this avenue of sadness, they bring President John F. Kennedy, martyred hero, to lie in state under the great dome of the Capitol. I think President Kennedy's assassination was a case of the chickens coming home to roost. These inflammatory remarks were given by Malcolm X in Chicago, outside the nation of Islam headquarters. What I meant was is that Kennedy's assassination is a symptom of the nature of violence in American society. What, well, brother, would you have the whole world hate us? I mean, Kennedy was loved by everybody. I mean, what you said about him, that was wrong. I mean, it, it, was, it was wrong. What's most important for all of us, my brothers, that we stay united. The messenger has given me a period of 90 days silence, which I will accept. But what's critical is that you focus on this fight. Because when you prevail, it'll be a great day for Islam. Fellas, fellas, I hate to break up y'all's philosophication, but uh, while y'all gabbing, Liston's training. Give him a little sound. Yeah, let's put the button pop up. Button pop up. Button pop up. Hey, how you feeling today, Cassius? I feel great. You know something? I was watching a list of shadow box the other day. His shadow won. <laughs> Do you think a sports figure should be involved in controversial politics? I believe a man should stand up for what he believes in. Do you believe in racial separation and hate? Listen. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Fellas, fellas, what he believes in his training so we can grab that heavyweight crown. Now let us work, all right? I gotta get to work. Come on. It's macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. I paid $625,000 to bring championship boxing to Florida. And my main draw is surrounded by Negroes who call white people devils who believed that the Kennedy assassination was ordained by God. Now, that's not exactly what he said. Well, that's certainly the way the editorial writers seem to have heard it. Look, Bill, we're all on the same team. All right, let's just assume for a moment that this character started a firestorm. It's going to subside. Is it? I want him to disavow the black Muslims. And I want him to do it in front of the national press. What? And if I don't? Then you can kiss your shot at the championship goodbye. It'll never go off. At least not in this state. Then you call off the damn fight. Call it off. Cassius, I don't want to hear nothing. Man, don't think I'm a damn fool. Cassius, where are you going? Look, we have all worked our butts off to make this fight happen. You can't just let the whole thing go down the toilet. Talk to your boy. He's the one supporting black terrorists. He is supporting his religion. That is his right. And even worse than these headlines is that we are going to go down in history as the ones denying a fighter his title shot because of his religious beliefs. Don't be hitting me with the Constitution. This is the South. I got to operate down here. We all got to operate down here. Bill, give me 24 hours. Cassius, we need to talk. And, and you too, Mr. X. The way it looks now, the fight is off. Cassius is going to blow his shot at the title. And this is not a game, Cassius. These people are very upset. So what do you propose? With all due respect, sir, you seem to be the focal point. You're the one the press knows. Maybe you could go on a little speaking tour. Bill, you might as well leave right now because this man is not going anywhere. It's all right, champ. Let's keep our minds on what's important here. The Quran says that Allah is the best knower, the author and finisher of our faith. Suppose I go to New York and check on our affairs there. That would make an enormous difference. But I come back for the fight. What makes you think you can beat Sonny Liston? Have you seen him? Ain't he ugly? <laughs> the man's too ugly. 
I'm pretty. I can't be beaten. You are a very truculent young man. If that's something good, then I'm that too. If I get beat by Son and Liston, I will go out to the middle of the ring and I kiss his feet myself. And that's final. Come on, Jim. I can't be beat. I can't be beat by him. He ain't nothing. Any predictions, Cash? I want to give you a recap of the eighth round, exactly how it will happen. Now Clay comes out to meet Liston, and Liston begins to retreat. If Liston moves back any further, he'll end up in a ringside seat. Clay swings with the left, Clay swings with the right. Look at young Cassius carry the fight. Liston keeps backing, but there's not enough room. It's just a matter of time before Clay lowers the boom. Clay swings with the right, what a beautiful swing. It lifts the bear clear out of the ring. Listen starts flying, and the ref wears a frown, for he can't stop counting till Sonny comes down. Sonny keeps rising, and the crowd goes frantic. Radar's picked him up, he's somewhere over the Atlantic. I just want you to know who would have thought when it came to the fight, they'd be witnessing the launching of a human satellite. Yes, the crowd put down their money for the total eclipse of the Sonny. I just want you to know one thing, I am the greatest. What do we always say, Drew? Float like a butterfly, spin like Oh, rumble, young man, rumble. Oh, that's my trainer. You heard what he said. That's my trainer. There he is. You ain't nothing, chump. You ain't nobody. I just want you to know I had 180 amateur fights, 22 professional fights, and I'm pretty as a girl. Look at me. I'm too pretty. I just want you to know something. I'm the great. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't nothing, sucker. I'm going to take you out in eight to prove I'm great. You big, ugly. Bam. I'm the greatest. Oh, yes. I am the greatest. I'm the greatest. I got the tickets like you told me. Spoke to daddy, he said he's definitely coming. What about mama? She's not so sure. She don't know if she want to come or not. Oh, Lord, I hope she comes. Yeah, me too. You know how daddy gonna start acting up. And we she don't know. need that. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Threat call. Talk about a threat call. I mean, it could have been the promoters, could have been the clan, could have been anybody. The clan? Listen, man, just 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 stay close by, right? I mean, we can't trust nobody. Just stay close. Muhammad, I'm right here. Come on now, I got your back. Man, we don't need none of this. <laughs> we don't need it. It's okay. Anybody wanna get to you, they gotta get through me first. Where you been? But I was in the bathroom. You're supposed to be watching my water bottle. I don't want anybody putting any funny mess into it. I had to pee. The bottle's right there. We were all here. What, you don't trust us? Don't talk to me about trust. I only trust what I can see. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. You know, I'm your doctor. If I wanted to mess with you, I'd just put a little something in your B12 shot. <laughs> That's all it takes, huh? That's all it takes, huh, Doc? Slow down, man. I don't want to slow down, Angel. Don't tell me that. Relax, babe. Everything's cool. Your cornermen... <laughs> your cornermen are, are not the enemy. You gotta fight to win. Are you ready? Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu man. How you doing? Good. I see you up there. Why? Well, alaikum salam, brother minister. Where you been? Well, I didn't want to be in the way while you were warming up. I was afraid the messenger was gonna order you to stay away. I am here. Keep faith in Allah and your jab in Liston's face. <laughs> Four rounds, the 22-year-old challenger appears too quick for the 31-year-old champion. Clay is circling and stinging Liston with combinations, jabs, and quick rights. The great Sonny Liston seems lost out there, dizzy, incredible. Liston getting frustrated. He's loaded up and missing badly, badly. Clay proving to be too elusive, too quick for the heavyweight champion. Coming out now for the fifth round. Ladies and gentlemen, the confident cocky challenger is backing up his fountain of pre-fight verbiage with a skilled boxing display. Again and again, striking Liston seemingly at will. Come on, Liston. Come on, Liston. Challenger goes back to his corner and we can't tell from here, but it's here. Oh, 
can't see nothing. What? I can't see nothing. My eyes are burning. Calm down. Calm down. Let me see. I cut these gloves off. I can't see them. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to stop the fight. This is for the title. Uh, there is something in there. It's collodium. All right. Some of them must have fallen on Liston's glove while they sealed his cut. They're okay. burning. That'll be juicy. Come on. I'm going to go to the rough. Stay away from him. You're going to have to locate him with your jab. Okay, so still going out now. They were trying to clear his eyes between rounds. Okay, break! Break clean! Break! The play is vulnerable. Best is moving in with a barrage of punches. Left, another left. There's something wrong with Cassius Clay's eyes. Clearly, something is wrong. Clay is just trying to block the onslaught, just covering up. Referee steps in. Liston back to his corner now. Again, working fervently in the corner. Sonny Liston is not coming out. Sonny, the bell rang. Can you continue? No. Fight's over with the winner. It's over. Cassius Clay is the new heavyweight champion of the world. I fooled you. I fooled you. I fooled you. I'm going to keep you the race. I must be the greatest. champion of the world how does it feel i must be great howard i shook up the world i don't have a mark on my face i'm 22 years old and i just upset sunny liston i shook up the world i talk to god every day if god be for me can't nobody be against me i shook up the world, I the world. boxing is a very dirty world you could bathe 10 times a day and still not be clean what should I do, sir? I will give you my son, Herbert, to keep the white man from defrauding you and to protect you from the wickedness. Thank you, messenger. I will never turn from Allah. We'll see. The devil has a very tempting face. What's it like to wake up and be heavyweight champ, Cassius? It's wonderful. The best time is right now. I dreamed about this ever since I was 12 years old. 12 years old! Are you a card-carrying black Muslim? <laughs> card-carrying? Card-carrying? <laughs> card what, what, what does card-carrying mean? No, I'm not a card-carrying anything. I believe in Allah, and I believe in peace. I was baptized when I was 12 years old, but I didn't know what I was doing then. I'm no longer a Christian anymore. I know who I am, and I ain't got to be who y'all tell me I got to be. I'm free to be whoever I want. In other words, you are, in fact, a black Muslim now. Black Muslim? Black Muslim is a press word. They're white Muslims, they're red Muslims, they're white and black Christians. You don't ask a man if you're a white or black Christian, do you? you no, the religion's called Islam. And over 750 million people believe in it, and yes, sir, I am one of them, mister. I'm no longer a Christian. I can't be. Now when you got color folks fighting for integration, getting killed out in the street, and get chewed up by dogs, you bomb a colored church, and don't nobody find the killers. No, sir. No, sir, I'm no longer a Christian. We Muslims, we believe in peace, and we want to live in peace. We will no longer be slaves to you. And I'll no longer use a name given to me and my ancestors by slave masters. From now on, my name will be known as Muhammad Ali. What does that mean? Muhammad Ali, mister. 
Assalamu alaikum. Miss Roy. You can call me Sanji. Sanji? Sanji, I ain't been on a blind date in like... Never, I ain't never been on a blind date. <laughs> well, I have. You have, huh? Well, Herbert told me you were good looking, but... He didn't tell me you were so beautiful. See, he told me you were a smooth talker. He told me you were a smooth talker. <laughs> what else Herbert said? Just let Adam meet ya. See what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I am. You look You like what you see? So far. <laughs> if I hear you're a good singer, why don't you give them that sing song? Why don't you get up and box somebody? Oh, girl, that ain't nothing but a thing. Hey, waiter! Waiter, come here! <laughs> I married her. Are, are you crazy? You were just supposed to have a few laughs. <laughs> we did. Do you have any idea who this girl is? I mean, you ain't hit to the streets and the bars. She grew up in them. It ain't where you've been, it's where you're headed. Isn't that what Islam teaches us? Look, I'm your manager, not your babysitter. That's right, brother, you're not. I can see right now I'm gonna have to start keeping tabs on you. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, Button that popcorn. Button that popcorn. Button that popcorn now. Let me go. 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 What you doing there, Pops? You let the contract with the Louisville group go? I mean, did these bow tie Muslims make you do that? No, no, Pops. This is Brother Herbert. I just want him to take care of my affairs from now oh, on. Oh, no, so. you ain't. No, you ain't. You ain't gonna leave my boy broke and in the gutter. Now let's go. Let's get away from these crazy sons of bitches. Pop, come on. You need to cool out just a little bit. You're talking crazy now. I said, let's go! You get your wife and let's go! You too, Rudy! Mr. Clay, the champ needs to finish his workout. And you, sir, have to leave. You stay the hell away from me and my children. You got my sons hypnotized with all of this mumbo jumbo. Pops, come on. Let me just take you to the hotel, all right? Pop. Listen to me. This is my decision. Do you understand that? It's mine. Thank you, my 
my brother. Thank you for coming. Are you, uh, are you followed? I don't think so. The FBI. They follow me every place now. I'm sure they'll be there to gloat. When I'm killed. For 12 years, I believed that Elijah Muhammad was a messenger direct from God. I know now he's... He's a man. He's a flawed man. No. You are angry. You are angry because the nation silenced you after you made those disrespectful remarks about Kennedy's assassination, brother. The messenger is angry because I know about the Muslim secretaries that are the unwed mothers of his children. I came to say goodbye to tell you that the hand of God is on you that people will have hope or they will give up hope according to the things that you say and do. I'm never gonna forget you, champ. Malcolm X was buried today. The funeral was attended by 1,500 mourners in Harlem, New York. Two suspects from Sergeant. You okay? The man's not okay just because he wants to have children. Look, I know you're upset about Brother Malcolm's death. We all are. You know I'm excited about starting a family with you, making babies. Buying a home to raise him in. All in due time. The messenger doesn't want us to buy homes, son. Yeah, easy for him. He's already got three homes. Those are like headquarters for the nation. Seems like mansions to me. Some song you really should not disrespect the message. Your turn, Cassius. Cassius? My name ain't no Cassius Clay. I ain't never told you my name was no Cassius Clay. Well, that's the name your daddy gave you. That's what I'm calling you, chump. My name is Muhammad Ali. And you will announce it here, or I'll make you announce it in the middle of the ring. You, ain't you know something? You just like Floyd Patterson. Both of you. Just some Uncle Toms. Oh, Why you call me? You heard what I called you. I called Tom. You. Who you stepping to? Boy, I'll whip your butt. You'll whip my butt. You are Uncle Tom. You heard me. Okay. You heard me. Oh, Check it off of me. You, you know something? Yeah, you know something? Yeah, you ain't nobody. Yeah, you ain't nothing. Yeah, you heard it, Terrell? We'll bear witness oh. to my name. Muhammad Ali. Ali? Let's go. Come on. What's my name, sucker? Cassius Clay. What's my name? Cassius Clay. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name, huh? This Terrell fight will fuel a new wave of anti-Ali sentiment. Ali has cruelly and intentionally tortured his opponent like a child pulling the wings off a helpless butterfly. Where are you going? I thought I was going out with you. Not in that dress. This is a brand new Chanel. Sorry, I don't care what it is. Now, there's going to be a whole lot of Muslim brothers there. I thought you were supposed to wear that loose dress and that head wrap that I got for you. Well, I changed my mind. It's a woman's prerogative.
Well, it's not your prerogative to dress like a tramp. Now go upstairs and change like I said. Is that what Herbert and the others call me? Not what I'm saying, son. Do you like the way I look in this dress? That's what matters. I'm your wife. I like the way it looks behind closed doors. Now, you can't wear those skimpy dresses and them high heels and all that makeup and that jewelry. We talked about this. I can't be in prison with you anymore. You, you've cut yourself off from everyone who loves you, and now you want to cut me off. I need to get out. Fine, Sanjay, I'll take you out. But I'm not going to take you out looking like this. Now go up there and change like I said. Fine. I'll go out to Janice. Oh, you go in a damn place, you hear me? You love me! Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Now go upstairs and change that dress right now. Sanjay, I expect you to be modest and respectful. Like a good Muslim woman. I am not a good Muslim woman! I can see that. Where are you going? Don't question me. Don't you walk out on me! Everybody gets divorced once in life. Like getting knocked down in the ring. It's part of the game. No, I'm cool, Drew. You know. I'm cool, man. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Hard to be on top. Sometimes it's harder to be on top than what it took to get there in the first place. Look at me. Look at me. You're young, you're the champ, and you're rich. Don't sit there and grumble. Rumble, rumble young man, rumble! Congratulations. You're now the property of the United States government. When I call your name, stand to be inducted into the armed forces of the United States. Meadows, Lawrence, Army. Gonzalez, Roberto, Army. Sampson, Randolph, Army. Clay, Cassius, Army. Clay, Cassius, Army. Clay Cassius Army! My name is Muhammad Ali. And I refuse to be inducted because I am exempt as a minister in the religion of Islam. Back there. Yeah, you think they'd have run out of gas along the way, so. All right, wait for me, dude. All right. Yeah. How you FBI's doing? Can I get you anything? Pastry? Coffee? Anything? All right, y'all sit tight now. Stop playing. 
Assalamu alaikum, sister. Hello, these beautiful babies. How you feel? Fine. Good. Ain't they beautiful? Yes, they are. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> See, now you need to pick your jaw up off the floor. Who is that? That's Belinda from the Muslim school. Her parents raised her real strict in the faith. How I look? You look fine. How I look? How you doing, sister? I'm fine. And yourself, brother? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. So you got anything sweet back there for me? Well, now, too many sweets will make you fat, sir. And then you wouldn't be able to move so fast. Oh, I see. You mean in the ring? Who's talking about boxing? <laughs> the brothers tell me that you're a good Muslim woman, that you're strong, strict, moral. The brothers are right, sir. Then I must be right, too. About? About taking you out tomorrow night. <laughs> I think you really do need to slow down. Yes, ma'am. Respectful. Nice. Slow. I can do that. <laughs> May Allah bless you as you are joined together as husband and wife. Allah 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 I'm late, I'm late, I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm, I'm here. Aha, Jim! There's gonna be some big chicken baby making tonight, ain't there? <laughs> Woo, happy, 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 well, happy, 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 I'm, I'm happy, right? happy, I'm very You're good, right? I'm very good. Listen to me now. Yeah, I'm listening Listen to you. I'm listening to you. This ain't the time, baby. This ain't the time, little place. No, 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 right? no, I'm here. I'm, I know, I'm, I'm late. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm late. It'll be all right. I was just, uh, you right. know, just trying to see you, brother. You got a new name back. Rahman. Rahman. Okay, Rahman. You know, I can't quite pronounce it. Hey, can I get some of these, um, one of the champagnes right here? Oh, yeah? Here's a toast to you, champ. Mm. Ah. There ain't no alcohol in this. This ain't got no alcohol in it. Can you bring someone some alcohol in it, please, sir? Huh? Champ, champ. Champ, I just want to say I love you, man. I love you. I love you. I love all y'all, too. I love everybody here. I'm sorry I'm a little late with the traffic, you know. Could you just do that last part you did, you know, just before I was getting here? <laughs> Muhammad, we need to talk. It's a good ceremony, didn't you think? <laughs> Beautiful. I loved it. Congratulations, champ. Thank you, brother. Happy for you. Thank you. How do you feel? The question is, how do you feel? I feel terrific. <laughs> Look at you. Damn FBI's. Won't even give me no rest of my wedding day. Devil's looking for any excuse to destroy you. And that's why we can't have any weak links around here. Muhammad. Herbert feels that Bundini has to go. It's, it's gone on too long. Has to go? <laughs> Rock, you know Drew has been here since the very beginning. You know that. Tim, my father sent me here to protect you. Now, I got to call it like I see it. Now, how do you see it, brother? The man's gonna bring you down. He's a liability. He's gotta go. <laughs> champ! Champ! I have arrived. You're supposed to come alone, Black. Oh, yeah. This is my dinner date. This is <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> But she ain't got nothing to do with business, you know. Come on, baby, go on over there. That's it. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, listen, man, this can't go on. And the drinking, the women, 
All this crazy stuff, man. It's, it's affecting my image, man. <laughs> Look, champ. The only thing I got to do with your image is helping you win. And I do that. In the gym, in the corner. I'm the one that gets it going, right? True, I need righteous people around me, brother. Righteous. Muslims put you up to this dinner. No. Where's my belt, Drew? Belt? My belt. Why? Man, why? Where'd my belt be, Drew? How uh, should I know where your belt is? You hocked my belt at a Harlem barber shop for $500. I know this, Drew, because I bought it back. Am I right? Look at me. Look at me, man. What you want me to do? What you want? Champ. <laughs> Look, man, I, you know, I might be a little crazy. I, I might be a little wild, but... <laughs> Look. I'm the last truthful brother in your camp. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Why are you letting them ice me like this, babe? This is my choice. It's all on me, babe. Now listen here, I know that you got a whole lot of responsibilities and whatnot. Don't worry about it. I'll take you down. Look, right? I, I need your money. Come on, babe. Okay. I'm a high stepper. High step with baby. I don't need no money from you. Baby! In spite of your celebrity, appeals from your family and friends. I have no recourse but to impose the maximum sentence for draft evasion. Five years in federal prison and a $10,000 fine. We'll appeal it, man. You can't do this. This is an outrage. We're gonna go to the Supreme Court if we have to. Hold on, now, hold on. I just got one thing to say. I got one thing to say. Now, I know I could go on to the army and do the boxing exhibitions. But what about the mothers of all the boys who follow me into the army and come back home in body bags? Being free means being able to choose your own religion. It means being able to choose between right and wrong. I ain't got no problem with them folks over there. No Viet Cong ever called me a nigger. I believe Vietnam is wrong. A man stands up and says, because of my religious beliefs, I refuse induction into the United States Armed Services. And now a boob of a boxing commissioner strips this man of his title, and even before the courts have made their final decision, takes away the man's right to make a living. This boxing commission is an outrage, and the other jurisdictions that have followed suit are a disgrace. Hey, Daddy. We're in the neighborhood, and um, I thought I'd come by and see my family. Yeah, man. A thousand miles away. Yeah. I'm glad you're here.
got some lemonade for you guys. Melinda, can you take me for me? All right, baby. Lemonade. My granddaughter. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. Get us some more of that ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, how can they put the heavyweight champ in jail? Listen, Pop. If we don't win this appeal, they're going to put me under the jail. Now, the commissioner stripped me of my title, so I'm heavyweight champion of nothing. Now, we done had our share of falling out. And Lord knows I don't go along with most of your crazy ideas. But I'm with you this time. That's not the common man's war over there. That's the politicians. You do what you got to do, you hear? Your mom and me will help out with your family. Somebody told me the other day that I am not willing to go to wall, but yet I am willing to take the white man's money. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn the money. <laughs> and damn the heavyweight championship of the world. I will die before I sell my people out for the white man's money. Right. They're looking for a new champion. They having the elimination bouts. Well, let them go ahead. Because everybody from the back streets of Alabama to the streets of Sweden and Harlem and Africa knows who the real champion is. That I am the real champion. And my ghost is going to haunt the arenas. And I'll be whispering, Ali, 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 Rahman is here. <laughs> Look, you're out of town. Got back early. What you doing here? Oh, look at that. Me, you, and Bundini before the Terrell fight. <laughs> Crazy old Bundini. So how you doing, man? Hmm? You uh, missing the game? No, no, you know I'm doing the lectures. I got my house chores and Taking care of Belinda and May May and the twins. Mm -hmm. All right. It's all good. OK. So I guess it don't matter then that the uh, Supreme Court overturned your conviction. Don't be playing, Rockman, or there's going to be a rumble going on right here. I ain't playing. I'm serious. It's a heart attack, Muhammad. You won. I won. One. One. Right. One? Right, brother. Oh, I won! All right. I won, girl! <laughs> Stay away from him when you're not punching. Okay, get out of there. He's not floating anymore, Angie. He's still got his reflexes, but I think he lost his legs. His first line of defense. Now uh, we'll find out if he can take a punch. For three years and following 15 grueling rounds, Muhammad Ali has lost the first fight of his career. Joe Frazier has beaten Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali has lost a 12-round decision to Ken Norton. The greatest may have fought the last fight of his career. Somebody? Yeah, I'm looking for this crazy ass witch doctor everybody calls Fast Black. Step in my office. <coughs> now I quit drinking. No kidding, you quit drinking, huh? Don't touch a drop. Monday through Thursday. <laughs> Have you 
times, huh? <laughs> You see, I lost my legs, Drew. Can you believe that? I lost the first two fights in my professional career, ever. And everybody thinks I'm through. I gotta be Norton. I gotta get him. Gotta get that Frazier, too. To even have a shot at Foreman. I don't think there's anybody that thinks I can do it. Do you? Hell no. Well, what if you was training? How about that? Well, that's a whole different story. A different story now. Absolutely. But, um, well, you know, I. Uh, I got a whole lot on my plate now. I might be able to clear my schedule. So you down? How'd it do to get a wooden ass? Drew <laughs> <laughs> Bundini. I said a whole lot of crazy stuff, man. Stuff that probably should have never been said, brother. Forget about it, baby. We got work to do. Rumble! Oh, oh, young man, bro. Let's oh. 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 got nothing for you. Come on. Go. Go snatch that title back. Keep going. I believe the time has come to say farewell to Muhammad Ali. Because honestly, I do not feel he can beat the younger, stronger, more fearsome George Foreman. Muhammad Ali simply is not half the fighter he was three years ago. So in this reporter's opinion, Muhammad Ali will... Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell. You always talking. You say I'm not half the man I was three years ago? Well, I talked to your wife, Howard, and she told me you weren't half the man you was two days ago. <laughs> and what's this on your head, huh? That's a phony, Howard. That's a phony, and it comes from the tail of a pony. And you think you were shocked when Nixon resigned? Wait till I whoop George Foreman behind. Welcome to Kinshasa Zaire, the heart of Africa. It is almost 4 a.m., but still very hot and very humid in these pre-dawn hours. We are the guest of President Mobutu Sisi Siko, who put up $10 million to stage this bout. $5 million to each fighter. Get forming. Ain't got nothing time. time. Ain't got time. Oh, time. Oh, I'm going to dance. 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 Dance.
Stick and move. You gotta keep moving, okay? All right. That right hand lead, that right hand lead is beautiful. It's beautiful. Be strong. You gotta be careful. You can't be laying up against the ropes. You cannot stay on the ropes. There's the bell. Round two begins with Norman. Come on, Jim, let's go. And they come out. All right, bring it up. Come on now. I don't know if he's tired or not. He's up against right. the ropes. And here comes Foreman. He's looking for that one good shot to put Ali away. And it's more of the same from Ali. He's laying against the ropes and letting Foreman get off some pretty good body shots. Some of these have to be doing damage. This is the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. Victory is never more important than the fight. They called this the greatest night of my career and said that I should have quit. But then I wouldn't have gone on to become the first heavyweight fighter in history to win the crown three times. They said that I should have worked hard on my marriages. Probably. They say I gave away too much money, wore myself out traveling the world, meeting people, playing with children, getting involved with too many causes. But what good is having the title if you're not a champion for the people? They say I'm a hero. I say that a little boy from Louisville wanted to be a boxer. And God made him a fighter.